Hi, Brandon Lewis here of Embedded Computing Design, and I'm here in Zhuzhou, China, at the Advantech IoT Co-Creation Summit. And I'm with Miller Chang, who is the president of the Embedded IoT Business Unit for Advantech. How are you doing today, Miller? I'm fine. I'm doing okay. Very good event, and many people here. Today. Yes, definitely. So, um, as part of the Embedded and IoT Embedded IoT Business Unit, you're living it on the edge in all of those embedded systems out there. Yes. What really does that mean? What what markets are you are you addressing? Okay. So we are focusing on very, very traditional embedded business stuff from this, this side. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like uh, we work with mainstream silicon vendor mm -hmm. like Intel, like ARM, to provide a very up-to-date new technology and platform. Mm -hmm. From bold label product to system mm -hmm. to module, and we have a new uh, software solution we call WisePass, mm -hmm. put up on top together to provide our customer a solution ready. Uh, platform and package. That's great. So out there on the edge, there's increasing demand to yes. add intelligence, uh, add connectivity, add processing power, um, which of course is has always been the balance that an embedded uh, systems company needs to needs to handle. Um, what are you seeing out there? on the edge, especially as companies are looking for more and more AI capabilities mm -hmm. um, in terms of processors that you're shipping yes. and how the designs are going. Yeah, uh, yeah there are many, many uh, new ini initiative mm -hmm. and scenario required from uh, new smart city solution, for example, mm -hmm. factory automation, for example. Mm -hmm. So every day, uh, their existing marketing uh, require more solution ready package mm -hmm. to support their solution go to market more uh, efficiency for example mm -hmm. uh, so that's the reason why traditional the cpu power mm -hmm. is sometimes in some area is not able to afford uh, the, the ai solution for example that's the reason why recently we are working with intel mm -hmm. quite closely to to develop the ai acceleration module mm -hmm. okay the AI acceleration module is a very tiny size of module just a uh, 20 to 30 millimeter mm -hmm. very tiny size of module they can plug in our embedded system to become an AI inference system immediately right okay then also the Intel and uh, Advantech will work closely to develop the open Vino the software toolkit mm -hmm. also built into our uh, AI inference machine mm -hmm. and provide customer a very easy to develop, easy to deploy AI uh, uh, solution ready package with AI engine enabled. Very good. Yeah. So some of the some of the um, processing elements there are the product of Movidius, of, of yes. Intel's Movidius yes. acquisition. How much of those? Uh, I guess you're calling them VPUs now. Yeah, VPU, yes. um, how many of those modules are you able to deploy, or that IP are you able to deploy on a single uh, form factor board that you're shipping? All right, uh, they are initially they have uh, uh, three kind of different module. Mm -hmm. First one, as I mentioned, is the M2 M.2 module, mm -hmm. just a 22 to 30 millimeter, very small, tiny size of module, and also they have a mini PCI plug-in car. Okay. Okay. Another, of course, mini PCI can be extend. Or a longer size of a car, mm -hmm. okay, they can be have more high performance mm -hmm. VPU uh, computing power. Mm -hmm. So uh, initially, we have three different kind of uh, embedded module. Mm -hmm. They get able to plug in the embedded system to become an AI inference system. Very good. Yeah. So what are some of the applications that you've seen um, these being deployed in? I know you mentioned smart cities, but that's a broad, yeah, that's yeah. A broad area, yeah, so can yeah. you get a little bit more specific? Yeah, mo uh, uh, according to the research uh, and report, mm -hmm. there are uh, several uh, vertical markets that are migrate to IoT mm -hmm. with AI solution quite uh, significantly. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like smart city. Mm -hmm. For example, like uh, Industry 4.0, mm -hmm. the factory automation, that kind of area. I can give you one example is uh, uh, how AI solution can enhance enhance the uh, uh, city traffic traffic uh, uh, management mm -hmm. okay, for the transportation, for example. So we developed the the edge our edge computing mm -hmm. with AI mobility silicon uh, chipset module built in and open middle uh, software toolkit built in, then provide customer uh, a, a, a solution ready package we call mm -hmm. SRP. Mm -hmm. The solution can support customer to do the uh, raw sign monitoring, for example, mm -hmm. to do the vehicle counting, mm -hmm. qualification, for example. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a ready to use solution ready package with AI engine enabled. 
that's very good. Yeah. And then that also that also folds into WisePass, correct? So yes. your edge modules fold into WisePass, which fold into your entire three-step co-creation uh, plan um, of Advantech to eventually help people get all of that AI data up into the cloud. Yes, yes. I can give you another example. Okay. Uh, like uh, retail market, mm -hmm. we provide an AI engine enable uh, solution ready package for retail market, specific for the retail chain store. Mm -hmm. You can do the digital science broadcasting system. Mm -hmm. You can do the people counting, face recognition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can enhance their commercial value. Mm -hmm. So this AI engine enable solution is very, very uh, popular already in China mm -hmm. to support our retail market customer. Very yes. good. Yeah. Well, um, that's Brandon Lewis, or that's Miller Chang, excuse me, uh, the president of the Embedded IoT Business Unit at Advantech. I'm Brandon Lewis with Embedded Computing Design. Thanks for watching our Trends in Embedded and IoT. We'll see you next time.